gentlemen, now for official introduction, the fighter fighting out the red corner, weighed in at 67.8. He's at 25, stands 5'9". He fights out of Shea Walsh MMA and hails from Lancaster, Georgi Yerosalimo. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 68. He's at 26, stands at six tall. He fights out of fearless MMA and hails from Kurdistan Slimani. Shere Kurdan Goye Kurdi. Your referee, Mr. Stefan Jouchi. Well, ladies and gentlemen, catch rate contest here, Koya Kurdi. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing Fearless. He's in the black shorts, orange trim. As he takes on Shea Walsh MMA, it's Georgie Stefanu. Two and three, he's in the black shorts. Two great camps being represented here. And fighters with mirror records. Two and three for the Shea Walsh man. Three and two for the Fearless prospect. Yeah, just fainting, pulling out of the jab. Curdy just gauging the distance, maybe trying to draw out the shot to counter from uh, Stefanov. Drills his first hard low kick in. Well, matched in terms of the number of fights, stature, these guys, you know, yeah, I mean, as even as it's going to get. And again, two, two top gyms being represented. Stefanov. Drea drives in, gets the trip. It's Curdy to the mat. He's going to look to strangle the legs and keep the legs pinned, but it's Curdy stuffing yeah. the head to create space for his hips to get out. Good reaction to that, though, by yeah, Stefano. Good work from Stefano there. Working inside the closed guard of Curdy now. Yeah, Curdy looking to sit up for that hip bump or look for the Kimura. Really active up from his back straight away. Fishing through for the Kimura grip. Stefanov doing everything right here. Yeah, pulling his right arm round the back. See, so try and trap the arm yep. to limit his ability to rip that grip back up. Just then becomes a struggle. Who's going to let go first? He's just trying to keep the arm safe. Yeah. He doesn't want Curdy to rip it out. Once the elbow's out, it might. Oh. Got it, got it for the sweep. I don't think it's deep enough for the submission, but he got the sweep, so it's where he wanted it to be. And he's not letting go. Look. Oh, ah, good work from Stefanov. Yeah, gets out and works off the north-south. Lovely work from there. Kirby really sort of flexible and springy with the legs. Oh, steps over in the mount. Nice transition from Stefanov. As I say, the legs back into play. Oh, you get a few people who, yeah. who do that to you. That's not an escape a lot of people will do, but... Those guys that do, yeah. Side really control annoying. again, and not enough knees to the body tonight for my taste, Jay. Not this time yet, Steve. It's true. Well, I've really, really liked how Stefanov's been uh, responding to the escape attempts from Curdy, transitioning really well, getting back to dominant positions. Curdy's one of those guys like unorthodox escapes. And works his way back. Full guard. Going up high again. Yeah, look for a sweep on armbar triangle as well. Not a lot of time left. Stefanov re uh, dropped it, worked his way up to posture to try and punch there, but allowed that um, left leg to come over the shoulder, but no time to set up a triangle for Curdy. Tough round to score that. Yeah, I think um, Stefanov spent the line share of that in dominant positions. I don't know that, Yeah. you know, if you're going on time and dominance from there, Side control a few times, north-south. Hit the initial takedown too. Probably edging it to him there, but you know both guys well matched in terms of skill, I'd say. Yeah. And up to this point, Fearless have been 3-0 tonight. This would be, I think, their last fighter to try and get a clean I think so, yep. But Stefanov is not signing up to that. Not at all. You, you wouldn't expect it. This, of course, first fight of the night, I think. Jay Walsh, Jay Walsh's man with the win. 
And then third from the end. We have Georgi Stefanov. Again, he's in the black shock doctor shorts. Koya Curdy, the fearless man in the black trimmed with orange and the tiger. Big shout going up for Curdy. Well, it seems like the Birmingham crew brought some, some fans to that. Whoa. Again, pointing with the jab and then looking to land with a kick on the right hand over the top. Stefanov really relaxed, hands low, Ooh. countering. He was ready for the takedown attempt. Now he's going to pressure Curdy into the cage. Is he going to try and change levels? Oh, knee up the middle for Curdy and uses the underhooks to turn him. Yeah, it was really hard for Stefanov to finish anything there when Curdy had double underhooks. Might have been um, better off trying to disengage, but he kept pressing forward, but it's hard with double overhooks on the fence. Knees to the body coming in. You've got to be careful just yeah. getting those on target. But good pressure, solid underhook. Curdy trying to step behind, tripped his man, dragged oh, him down. Stefanov there. counters it into the mount. Curdy trying to bridge and push his way back out there. Stefanov will have to stay lower this time if he wants to avoid those legs yep. coming back up. There to go. If he can get his hips and legs lower. Oh. He's yeah, just got to find, find the space and pick his shots. Yeah, trying to tie up an arm. Then framing off the face to get space to land his shots. If he go, if he could like, he could cross this and then get his hips lower and then cross his feet underneath yeah. the butt, that really limits Curdy's ability to be able to get that leg through. But you see how he's got that left leg yeah. now stuck in front of him. But Stefano's doing a great job of um, of not allowing it to sweep him again. So certainly won't be complaining there. It was like what I'd call like prayer feet from there, like feet together yeah. planted under the butt will make it really difficult. I mean, Curdy again. Wise to his position, turned his body, tried to push up. What the? Oh. Yeah, Stefanov not having it, and if he can. Uh. Yeah, every time there's some sort of like unorthodox position from Curdy, who's doing, you know, not necessarily conventional escapes, Stefanov's wise to it, gets himself back in a dominant position. It's really savvy grappling. Right in his own corner as well. That's the right thing to do when you see um, Kitty was trying to wall walk up there. Yep. Punching for that right underhook and getting the cross face on that side. Stops his ability from uh, ability to walk around off the fence again. This has been another good round. For Shea Walshman, George Stefanov here. Yeah, pushes to punch in the final 10 seconds. Mouthpiece out. Yeah, solid round in the books for Stefanov. And what does Curdy have to do different? I mean, he he can't he can't end up on bottom again. Yeah, I mean, you know, in a couple of these exchanges on the fence, he looked like he was holding a good position, but when he went for the trip, he just almost pulled out. Yeah. That was a, a good reaction from Stefanov. To be fair, he's just a little bit slicker in the transitions. Yeah, Curdy, you know, he's looked quite good out at range, landing the shots, fainting, maybe trying to not engage in the clinch as much, or, you know, if he gets into these weird positions, using those to really yeah. disengage. Um, yeah, Stefano's been just reacting well to all these kind of unorthodox positions that have been arising. Well, three minutes left to separate these two athletes. Koya Curdy, fighting out of the red corner, the fearless man, black shorts, orange trim. And Georgi Stefanov from the Shea Walsh MMA. He's in the black shorts, they touch gloves. And so far, when the distance has been closed, and they've gotten into the clinch, it's been Stefanov that's come out the better. Uh, looking good at range, working the jab and the low kick, stabbing that front kick through the middle as well. Oh, Whoa. missed the kick into the spinning back fist. 
Kirby returns a favour with a back kick. I do think, you know, uh, he might be able to land some shots from out here and a uh, little bit pitter patter, but I think he needs something more than that. And uh, yeah, Stefanov yeah, drives in, gets his takedown. However, yeah, Elmer Plata. Oh, but again, Stefanov, wise. step ahead. Steps out of it, gets himself to another dominant position. Yeah, side control here. Solid day, he's got that forearm four in the throat, he's got an underhook, looking to go to the mount again, potentially. Yep, see him putting the knee on the belly there. Getting ready to slice over. Okay, he really should be framing him, turning his hips out the opposite way rather than turning to his right. If he wants to turn to his left and hip escape over, but yeah. he's got mounted now Mounted by Stefanov. Well, cross face, punches. Stefanov, this is exactly what we've seen yeah. in the last round. And it just doesn't seem like just doesn't seem like Curry has the answers to get back to his feet. Yeah, it's like he's got that one mount escape, but it don't work. Uh, he ain't got the answers. He could try like elbow knee escapes, you know, getting onto his side, work to half guard. Looks like that brings the knee back in there. It's yeah. worked for him. But he's got to have a bit of urgency now. He's less than a minute yeah. left, and this is another round that's drifted away from him. So he's got to be throwing submissions up, you know, really trying to rush back up to his feet yeah, or something. He's, because he's uh, locking in the body triangle from this position. Is that going to help? No, because that's just essentially a holding, holding position. In, yeah. yeah, he needs to open up and just go for broke because staying inside the guard at this point is not going to win in the fight. But you see him trying to stuff the arm. Yep. Trying to stuff the arm, work something on that side. Kimura trapping for a triangle. 20 Plaza's. seconds left to work. But yeah, holding inside the guard is not going to be enough. It needs to be throw up the Hail Mary submission, I think, at this point. About 10 seconds left to go. Steph not doing the right stand, head to chest. Not gonna give anything silly up. Great fight from these two. Yeah, it's a tough fight. Kelly was, you know, never ne completely yeah. out of it, always working, but Stefano just, just dominated that yeah. fight. Really good ground control, you know, a, a step faster in the transitions. Yeah, really impressive performance from him there. And he started two and three and three and two. Yep. And looks like my arm markings are both be three and three leaving. Yeah. So. Yeah, just couldn't just couldn't solve the problem on on, on bottom E. Just too much time on his back. Ah, well, Mr. Sefkan has made his way into the ring. He will make this one official. Fighters to the center of the cage, please. Fighters to the center of the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard four round, we go to the judges at scorecard. 30, 27, 30, 27, and 30, 27. All three judges score this in favor of your winner, Georgi Yerosalimo. Please show your appreciation for Goya Colby.